St. Louis held the official ribbon cutting ceremony for the new police department building. The $4.5 million building sits just behind City Hall, one of the places where the department had temporarily been housed. We were there today as they opened the facility up to the public for the first time. Nearly 10 years in the making, the Bay St. Louis Police Department now has a new home. The old department building was demolished in 2020 due to a black mold infestation, but after years of hard work by city and state leaders, this dream is now a reality. You know, it's great for our officers, you know, the city of Bay St. Louis and the entire community you know, to have this building to be proud of. The new 10,000 square foot facility has eight office spaces, a training room, holding cells, and a massive lobby, along with other state-of-the-art amenities. With this department, it is so much much better. We've got so much more room. We've got more tools than we've ever had to be able to do the day to day law enforcement. Not only does this new building serve practical purposes, it also serves as a reminder of those who paved the way for officers today. Named after former Bay St. Louis Chief Douglas Williams, who was also the first black police chief in the state of Mississippi. He set an example. He was a good chief. He's talked about in wonderful terms even today after all these years the older folks that remember him still talk about him as one of the best chiefs they've had memories are also scattered throughout the building commemorating fallen officers brandon estorf and stephen robin who were killed in the line of duty in december of 2022 i mean they're always here with us but as a constant reminder so we never forget we have these things with us we have their heroes chairs in the roll call room. So every time they start a roll call, uh, their chairs are there and we remember. And it's a reminder of, hey, their sacrifice, their ultimate sacrifice, what they gave for the city and for, for the brothers and sisters here. Chief Schwartz says the building is a home that they hope to grow in and stay in for a long time.